Okay, time to do the thing where we're supposed to be doing. Yep, we're uh, figuring out how to release the Moth Priest from his little energy barrier thing. Did, Did it! it. <laughs> what up, Dexion? Why is he attacking you? Because... Oh, he's like enchanted or something. Stop. I yield. That, that wasn't me. You were fighting. Yeah, we kind of got that. My eyes, but I could not control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold on me. You really got a hold on me. Got a hold. You really got a hold on me. Hold me. Hold me. Me, you're a moth priest, huh? Yeah, he's a priest of moths. But they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me before. My back is feeling a lot better since the last couple few episodes. Enough mysteries. I've got myself uh like flat Elder Scroll on the couch here. Like blah 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 knowledge, blah 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 vampire hunters, blah 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 he's happy, blah 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 Fort Dongard, blah 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 vampires. Let's roll. Gross. Let us rock and or roll, wheel and or deal. Add keys, 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 keys in Skyrim. I have a very local reference. That that was a very local reference. Keys, 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 keys on Van Eyes. It's an auto dealership commercial that we have out here. Ten thousand cars! Ten thousand cars! You got me rocking and a rolling, wheeling and a dealing at keys, keys, keys. Okay, see, that's keys not the only Van jingle, though, because the other one is, and I know you love this one. K A R S cars, cars for, for kids. K A R S cars for kids. Donate your car today. Boom boom boom. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car He's today. He's trying to did it. I'm not sure if that's a local reference though. I'm not sure if it's cars for radio. kids. I know, but I'm not sure if that's a nationwide program. It's that on might not the just be an LA. radio. Yeah, but that might not just be an L.A. Hey, look, thing. It's, it's the guy. Hey, look, it's the guy. Yeah. He's pointing. He's rude, you bitch. He looks like Christopher Walken playing a vampire. He's a pointing bitch. It's like, yo, I want to bite your neck and suck your blood. Wow. I'm thirsty. I need blood in my mouth. What's the other one out here? Oh, uh, Power. Power Toyota? Yeah. Call Power when you need a car, truck, or van. And Camacho. Who are you going to call? Call Power. And Camacho. And Camacho. Like, Camacho Auto Sales is like... Uh, always, it's all different commercials, like the, the, like It's the, usually based around a movie that just came out. Yeah, like the TV commercials for Camacho Auto out here, like, they have, like, the greatest, like, low-budget green screen commercials for their auto dealership, and they all, like, it's just the fucking employees that work in the management there at the dealership. There's, like, three dealerships out here. I did it! And they have, like, the greatest, like, low-budget green screen commercials ever. They're fucking hilarious. Look up, look up Camacho Auto commercials on YouTube. They're fu they probably got them on YouTube, I'm sure. They're in they're in Lancaster. So far, this hasn't been too bad. It's always going on south, though. That's a long story. I wanna hear it. Yes. We kind of have to go way back. We're friends! At the very beginning. Do you know where Van Blissen came from? Uh Daedric Lord. Exactly. Yep. 
The first vampire came from Molochval. Oh, him! Oh, that guy. Do I got a story for you? Do I got a story for you about Moloch Ball? Oh, I know. I got one. I got his mace. Yep. What did you do to get it? Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Well. My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. Yeah, ha! I have to make it, dog. I like your sandals. He does have nice sandals. Damn right, he's mine. And might I add, he he does some good things. Dexin realizes I'm in charge here. Yep. Are you prepared? Hey, um, just a heads up. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna be. I read one once. Just a heads up. It's got your eyes are gonna fucking bleed. Who? Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the nice children, a dread lord will rise in an age of strife. When dragons uh -huh. return to the realm of men, darkness will be. So, for me, this is the only Elder Scrolls game I've played. Yes. In every Elder Scrolls game, do you find an Elder Scrolls? Most. Yeah. There's They're no all plot. central to the plot. Well, in this one, the Elder Scroll for, like, the vanilla campaign of this game, like, for Dawnguard, for Dawnguard, her Elder Scroll is central to the plot. Well, so is the dragon one to the main the game. The dragon one to the main game is just like a MacGuffin. They're, they're, they're involved in every game. Yeah, because in the main, in the main campaign of Skyrim, like, vanilla Skyrim, the dragon Elder Scroll is just like a MacGuffin. It's like, oh, we need to get to Alduin. The whole thing is we need to get to Alduin. Let's get to Alduin. Let's get to Alduin. Oh, this dragon scroll can get us to Alduin. Oh, okay, let's go get it. And then, boom. You use the dragon scroll, you learn they're, dragon rend, and then you figure out how you can defeat Alduin. They're pertinent in all of them. Like, this, her son... She has son, right? She has vampire. No, that's not the name of her. She has... I have dragon. She has... Uh, you have to find blood. She has sun. She has sun. Yeah. That moth is Dexon. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. But I'm not them! I'm better. I'm Terry. Fuck them. Since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, he kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter. It just a means to an end. Well, he's a prick. I'll find my mother, She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. Okay. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh no. Some place he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why. Are you ready? I'm not ready. We're not doing it yet. I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. Oh god, this place though. 
Is this the... I'm, I'm trying to figure out... That almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help attend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. It's too peaceful. He seems like the kind of prick that wouldn't like it. Um... I'm trying to remember. Is this the? Is it the main quest line of this where you encounter the Falmer? Yes. The actual Falmer. Yes. Okay, that's what I was trying to remember. That's where we get Ario's bull. Ariel's. Aria. Son of a. Yeah, it's the main bitch. quest of this. I'm gonna say those words. I'm gonna say those fucking words. Ariel's bow. That's where you get it, right? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to remember, because I thought that, for some reason, I couldn't remember the order of events. It's been a long time since I've done this. This game's five years old already, almost. Yep. In video game years, that's old. Hey, look, it's this bitch. You can bring him as a companion if you want a bitch. He actually has armor now. And you can make him be your companion if you want a bitch for a companion. And he gets him, probably gets himself killed, because he's a little bitch. Shut up, Angmir. She wants to use his trolls that he caught as live targets for her crossbow. Even I think that's dicked. If you're putting yourself in harm's way, you best be prepared. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You're carrying too much to be able to run. All right, I'll take note. You mind you and us, Don God, but there's no accounting for us. That's meaningless. He won't just randomly attack people. No pets. The street police right. leave him alone for too long. He'll return to the wild for living with other existence. Now, you be careful with the creature. It's not like we're. It's not like we're missing the money. Hey, Cuddles. That's his name. Hey, cutie. Is his name Cuddles? Yep. To Keith, I got some stuff for you to carry. Don't equip it because it sucks compared to what you're wearing right now. Yes. A lot of things. Dog gave me this full set of this stuff. <laughs> you have a gold diamond necklace. You have a gold diamond necklace that you can sell for a fucking pittance compared to the amount of fucking gold you already have. Look at him. He's beautiful. He is. Okay, Cuddles. What up, Cuddles? Cuddles and Durky. I think he gives you a quest. Where is Gunmar? Who, Cuddles? Oh. Gunmar. I think he does. I feel like he well, does. Well, we should talk to... Sorin. Sorin. I'm working on it. You get the other trolls. You can get a dog too if you want a dog. It wears like little tiny armor. We should talk to Soren because she'll are. send us out to find Don't like the place. fucking. I've discovered the whereabouts of a vampire. Oh, Compan he only gives you a radiant. Components for her to make the fucking. Of course. What dwarven crossbow? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hard save. Before yes. you talk to her about this. Because... It's a radiant location. Which means it can be on Solstheim. Yeah. Which has happened to me before. Slightly worried about what? Well, no shit, there's a fucking war of the vampires coming. Yeah, I get you. Yes. These vampires are a new threat, and a truly deadly one. Gunmar and I agree that we're going to need Florentius to help. Who? Yeah. Gunmar and I have a lot of work to do here, so we were hoping that maybe you could track him down. Okay. Who? 
What? I need him here. He gives me a quest, I think. That's the thing. I don't know where he is. I think he had regular contact. Blah blah blah. Vigilant. Blah blah blah. Talk to Eastern. This is not the quest you need a hard save for. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Serene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. Well. Where did certain ah? Ah, ah, ah. Gun more Shireen. Blah blah blah. Okay. Teach you how to make one. We can make crossbows now. Yes. She's gonna point you. That's in Skyrim. So yeah, there's three of these. Um, each one will make the crossbow better. Yeah. And it's in Halted Stream Camp, which is in Skyrim. It's not on a different fucking Well, because they're, 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 they're Dwemer schematics, aren't they? Yeah. I'll tell you, the only thing more surprising than hearing from Blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And then we can make like the dwarven crossbows and like. And you can make exploding bolts. Yeah. And um. We're, there's 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 another landmass other than Skyrim that we're not going to until a different series that the until part three. The return of this whole trilogy. Trilogy. Dawnguard here is part two, episode two. The return. Yeah, so we can't... We can't... Uh, there's a chance, if you have both DLCs installed, that she'll tell you to recover schematics Let's in do Soul's Time. Let's do quick, huh? And we're going to have to reload if that happens at any point during this. Let's go get our crossbow bolt. That's in a place I've already cleared well, so let's go get our crossbow upgrade. Shit. That's one of the uh, quests that you have listed down, right? Yes. We just got a lot of quests just now. Like, we just got like three separate One of quests. them's a Radiant. Yeah. Is that one of the ones on the list, though? No. It's only a Radiant that gives you, like, scaled money. Ah. Rift and Shield. Yes, that is the Rift and Shield. Rift and Shield handle. It's just like a barrel lid. That's all the shields are, just fucking lids of barrels. Well. Your mother. Shadowmere's got it. Damn! The armored trolls can take a lot, too. They regen. Yeah. Like, I don't think... I don't think I've ever seen one die. Like, I've never had one actually die. Because Cuddles doesn't give a fuck. Whatever, I don't need to be looting them. They have nothing of consequence. Oh! They tried to be sneaky deaky. Your lockpicking is almost level 99. Yes. Yeah, they tried to be little sneaky deekies. D cuddles, you're kind of... Thank you, buddy. Oh, a sneaky deaky deaky. Wow, that was a reference. What? And a rinky tinky, tinky tinky. Everybody wants to be a cat. Because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. It's at your bottom. 
There's no cat at my bottom. In your bottom. Let's roll, crew. Sup? Sup, bitch? 80 degrees when I tell that bitch, please raise up off these NUTs because you gets none of these. Iron. At ease. As a mob with the dog pound feels a breeze, biatch. Oh, how cute. She thinks she's people. Rolling down a street, smoking Indo, sipping on gin and juice. Laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Rolling down a street, smoking Indo, sipping on gin and juice. Laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Later on that day, my homie Dr. Drake came through with a gang of tank array. And a fat ass J of some bubonic chronic that made me choke. Shit, this ain't no right, joke. Right. I had to back up off of it. Right. Set my cup down. Tanker and chronic on fucked up now. I'm still right. popping. Party's right. still chunk. Great, got yet? some bitches from the city of Compton to serve quite? me. Not with a cherry on top. Cause when I bust my nut, I'm raising the off the cot. Don't get upset, girl. That's just how it goes. I don't love you hoes. That's how it goes. And I'll be rolling down the street, smoking Nando, sipping on gin and juice, laid back, with my mind on my money and my money on my. I thought you liked Snoop D O Double G. I got. Are you quite done? Why? Who sings that song? Go fuck yourself because I taught you that joke. You didn't. I'm sorry, hey, I am... Hey, Cuddles? You need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking frost troll. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, you know... Channel my inner Snoop Dio double jizzle. I picked that lock, are you proud of me yet? Who, me? Yes. I'm proud of you. Good. I'm always proud of you. I don't know why. I like... Big butts and I cannot lie. I hate myself and I want to die. <laughs> That's like the worst meme. Um. What, what was that one you had? Ariel's what? Convection. What is Ariel's convection? I need it for a quest. Arnie L's convection. Oh, Arnie L. It's like flames, but worse. Yeah. I needed it to like bend the dormer thing. <laughs> right. That's when I was getting Keenan. Well, we've got the MacGuffin. Sounds like someone's cooking something. It does smell like somebody's cooking something. Man, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat after this. After this episode, you're gonna yeah, eat? I'm gonna make food. I'm gonna make myself some pizza rolls. I'm gonna make something. I don't know yet. If you want pizza rolls, leave a comment on this web zone and I'll send you some pizza rolls. Aren't you going to have the shrimp, the popcorn shrimp that's in mm, there? No, not yet. I'll either make ravioli or top ramen, probably. Cool, because I need the oven for my pizza rolls. Biatch. Why are you making random fucking designs in the hand cushion, the palm cushion of my mouse pad with my fucking phone charger. Why not? Do you want to make them somewhere else? No. That's probably the safest place for you to make them. I still love this lighter. You're an animal. Why? Because I like this lighter? You're fidgety too much. You're too fidgety. Y'all need Jesus. You need Talos. You're screwing around too much. You're screwing around too much. You need to stop screwing around. Come on, Cuddles. Come watch me fly, Richard. I have a surprise for you. Richard! That's gotta be one of the best episodes of South Park ever made. They made a fucking sequel to it. Yeah. Like, that has got to be, like, one of the best episodes of South Park that was ever made. 
Like, that episode was so fucking... That's old South Park, too. It's like season two or three. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's early on. It's season two or three. Yeah. There are, like, some real, like, gems, like, in those older seasons Rainforest, Main Forest is a great yes, one. Yes, with Jennifer Aniston? Yep. Yeah. Spontaneous Combustion. Yeah. Hope you're getting along. Here you go. You're back and alive to boot. Fucking Scott Tennerman must die. Hmm. I'll still argue that Make Love Not Warcraft is the best episode of South Park. I actually agree with you. I, I actually very much agree with you. It's the episode that got me into South Park. I very much agree with you. That, that, that is probably... That episode is a masterpiece. It's what got me into it. Oh, I've always been into South Park. Like, I was in middle school. I was in middle school when South Park first started... When first premiered. And it was so controversial. Like, you couldn't wear South Park shirts to school. Like, I had, like, a South Park t-shirt, and it wasn't even anything explicit. I think you've told this on the show before. Yeah, it was just a picture of, like, Stan and Kyle, and it said South Park on it, and one of the yard duty guard people, whatever, sent me to the office where they told me I had to wear the shirt inside out because South Park was too inappropriate for school. There's nothing inappropriate on the shirt at all. Yeah, so, so you went to school in a nicer area than I did, technically. Um, in the hills of Burbank, yes. Did you have an armed security guard? Uh, at BHS, in my high school we did. Because uh, I had one in middle school, too. In my high school, I think we did. And we had a, an armed sheriff's deputy. I don't think we had any in our, in our, uh, in my middle school or my, uh, yeah, definitely not my elementary school. But in my middle armed, school, I didn't, I think in my high school we Armed did. sheriff's deputy. Yeah, enhanced crossbow. Well, because, like, I was a kid when, like, Columbine happened. So, like, that was when, like, they really started, like, beefing up the security in schools. Okay. So, like, by the time I was Two. in high school... Corundoming. And he has a lot of ironing. It's... Like, by the time I was in high school and, like, you know, emo kids hiding guns under their black trench coats were a thing, uh, we, had, we had beefed up security. Gunmar. Like you couldn't wear trench coats to school. That was that was against. That was against. You couldn't do it. Someone in my high school who came to school in a three-piece suit every day. Huh. Oh, we had random searches too. They'd have, have days. Lockers. They'd have days where we'd have where we had we'd have random searches. Well, I didn't have lockers, so that wasn't really a thing. No, no, no. On our way into school, there would be security at the entrances to the school. And you would walk in, but security would be there, and they would randomly pick out students to search before Mine, they went in. Might have, I don't know. I never. I always got there really stupidly early. And you can get uh, little armor dogs. They're cute. They got little armor. Oh, that is cute. I I I've been searched before. For varying reasons. I don't think I ever got selected to be searched at, at school. I have. I had a lot of weird stuff happen to me over the course of my scholastic career. <laughs> like, I got quarantined. That was fun. You got quarantined? How'd you, why'd you get quarantined? Because they thought I had tuberculosis. What? They thought? Well, yeah. I remember that. Dad was pissed. I yeah. actually do remember that. So I had to go, like, prove I got my tuberculosis booster. Right. I do remember that. And I that. showed it to the nurse, and the nurse didn't read my paperwork right, so I was quarantined for, like, five hours out of my day. I remember that. Dad was so and pissed off. I'm surprised. And our father had to drive down to the school. Yeah. And I remember, because, like, I... I'm surprised he didn't throw a fucking table. The lady he was came so to pissed. get me, and she was like, your father's here. He's really mad. And my response was, yeah. Yeah. Well, as well as he should have been, because that was bullshit. Keep yourself yeah. Protected as best you can. Like, that was bullshit, because that was all their fault. But no, I remember, like, I was surprised Dad didn't throw a fucking table over that shit. Oh, we got close. I almost hit someone with his cane. I'm not surprised. That was a great thing. Uh, what else happened to me? I got unenrolled for a day. I remember that, too. Yeah, that was, was in my senior year. Wasn't that, like, your first day? 
No, that was like a bit like in the went, semester. You went back and like you found out that you all of a sudden weren't enrolled. It was in like anymore. a week or two into the semester of my senior year, and I was sitting there, and my teacher was like, "Oh, hey, um, your name's not on my roll sheet. You should probably go like talk to someone about that." I was like, "Yeah, I probably should." Yeah. So I went up to the office, and they were like, "Yeah, you're not in our database. Do you know your schedule?" I'm like, yeah. The fucking stupid shit. And you're like, how long have you been here? This is the fourth year. We have an enhanced crossbow now. We have an enhanced crossbow. Uh, next time, we'll do... Probably this. Bolstering the ranks? Yeah. We need to speak with Isron. Yep. Uh, okay. Whatever. Cool. Outro. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy.